How could a baggage handler with zero flying experience steal a passenger plane from one of America's busiest airports and do eye-popping aerobatics? I've played video games before, so I, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. We found videos on YouTube showing pilots at the controls of the same plane and even tutorials showing how to take off. We'll start with engine number one, and you're going to switch that on start. Aviation expert Les Abend showed me yeah. how easy it is okay. to learn right. the so basics on a flight started. simulator. Get your parking brake off. Take the parking brake off. And then slowly add full power. We duplicated the flight path of the doomed plane. Pretty soon, I was performing barrel rolls. Whoa! Whoa! And backflips. There you go. There you go. Whoa. Yep, you're there. Just did a barrel roll and a backflip. And you had minimal instruction from me. So this is what Richard Russell would have seen out of the airplane when he took off from SeaTac Airport over Seattle. That's exactly where we are right now. And the controls of the plane he was using, very similar to the controls I'm using now. But landing, well, uh, I discovered back that's back not so easy. Get that nose up a little bit or you're bounced. <laughs> We're also learning more about Richard Russell and what drove him to pull off this suicidal stunt. Nicknamed Bebo, he was raised in Wasilla, Alaska, hometown of Sarah Palin. This page is from his high school yearbook. He was athletic and very popular. Russell and his wife, Hannah, ran a bakery in Oregon for three years. They sold the business in 2015 and moved to Washington, where he got a job with Horizon Air, a subsidiary of Alaska Air. He posted this video of his work day as a baggage handler. So many bags. Look at all them bags. Ooh, a purple one. Russell was fascinated by flying and posted this video of a flight in a private plane over Alaska. He traveled the world with his wife and outwardly seemed happy. But that's not how he saw himself, as he revealed in this exchange with air traffic control. Just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. Russell never bothered to learn how to land and crashed on a remote island in Puget Sound. I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it.